Howmore. How are you guys doing down there? In pain, but alive for the most part. Good. How's your arm doing, Talmore? Hurts real bad, buddy. Not going to lie. Well, you took one for the team because at least we know our bomb works, right? Yeah. I... But we need to get our shit together because I, I think morning's breaking and... I don't think they're going to be too much longer. Okay. Well, we we don't have another lantern. No, but we do have a couple of other things. Like? Well, before we get too convoluted, is there a lamp on the desk? <laughs> I'm not doing it this time, dude. I don't know if I can take another hit like that. I'll do it. It's all right. There is a small lamp on the desk. Actually, no, I'll do it because if you took as much damage as I did, he'd probably kill you. Yeah, but I've got slight hand. I'm proficient in slight hand. Yeah, I guess. It's true. Well, how big is this small lamp? Is it bigger than the bullseye lamp? No, it is actually a little bit smaller than the bullseye lamp. Okay. Nope. I'm not going to let you do it. I've got another plan. You know the sarcophagi <laughs> that we walked past? What? We walk past the sarcophagi, right? Uh, I don't know anybody by that name. Yeah, you know, <laughs> as we came down, there was those dead people buried in tombs. Oh, yeah, the grave robbing stuff. Yeah, yeah, when, when, when you robbed all those graves. Yeah, I remember, just like yesterday. Just like yesterday. <laughs> um, we'll cast your mind back those 24 hours and imagine yeah. those skulls full of bomb material. Oh, as much as I, I hate this idea, I love this idea. We could go and get fetch a couple of skulls, and then we could have one each, and we could make a couple of, like, kind of skull bombs, because they're pretty brittle, the bones. It's the same difference for glass, and they'll frag. Uh, all right. Okay, sure. It's either that, or there's Ezzy. We could feed her all the stuff and use her like a cow bomb. Oh, that's terrible. But I'd rather not do that because Ezzy's like my buddy, so. Let's go get some skulls. You didn't even have to talk me into this. Let's go get some skulls. All right. Okay, here's now here here's the question. The way the tower is current in its current configuration is that coffin that crypt area is a few rotations out. However, there was one crypt directly next to you where you guys found the egg and the dress and the tiara. Oh, that old, the old lady. Let's do it. Let's turn the old lady's head into a bomb. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like she's important somehow. It's fine. I'm going to pop her skull off her spine. <laughs> <laughs> she was literally buried with magical armor and a dragon egg. <laughs> Yeah, she'll make she'll make a real good bomb. <laughs> I'm just imagining like the skull in each eye socket is like a crystal. That's what I was thinking. Because <laughs> they can't touch each other either until it breaks. And you could like lather yeah. it up with griffin grease and just <laughs> Yeah. And then we could fill the skull full of the stuff and they won't actually touch until it breaks and then I remember yeah. we were talking then, about, like, maybe we should have better etiquette with the dead people in this doom. Uh, <laughs> Make a bomb out of her face. <laughs> <laughs> does <laughs> does her bones, like, are, do they just feel like normal bones? Yes. <laughs> okay. I was just making sure they weren't, like, super magical. If I needed to, like, grind them up, you know, make grind them up. bone dust. And snort it or something. I don't know. Whilst Talmor is fetching the skull off this lady's spine, I'm just going to be smashing <laughs> up some femurs into pieces so that we can 
like get uh, the frag material. What is this podcast come to? <laughs> oh no! You're an archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> the two people who should not be left alone together <laughs> got left alone together. And you know what? Ordok, that's on you. Was it? Yeah, you're in charge now. <laughs> I feel like Archaeology 101 is like, don't desecrate shit. <laughs> you got to have priorities. Times are tough. <laughs> Pragmatism, is that what this is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you using the femurs you have? Or are you taking them from the body? Yeah, it's just taken from the body. No, yeah. Yeah, no use in using the ones we have. It's just got a rib cage. They'll probably be even more. So just maybe just. <laughs> like, the, I'm going to get the end of my bow and just kind of matic them down through the rib cage and just smash the rib cage to pieces. <laughs> like the fucking Viet Cong. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to scoop a handful of those smashed up ribs and sort of. You're just going to bomb us. <laughs> Well, we'll, it's all right. We'll time it. <laughs> You'll time uh, it. Yeah. A frag grenade. <laughs> the time is 425. Yeah. <laughs> so happy. So, yeah, put the griffin grease in the skull, put the frags in there, and put more griffin grease to keep it all together. And then take the two vials of Drake blood and kind of push it through the nostrils. Not my Drake blood. I need that to get high. And, okay, you know what? I'll use one. I'll use one vial of Drake blood. Shove it in the nostrils, and then I'll give the crystals to Nim. <laughs> and he can do the rest. Okay. The bomb is, is primed and ready for loading. Tamil, do you want to stand back for this bit? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of those cloaks that I have. Like ready to like you know grab him up and and smother the flames that he's gonna cause on himself. Just for clarification, one of the ones you stole. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just I just have to verify this for my knowledge. Uh, yeah. Well, one of the uh, grave rod vintage cloaks. Yeah, one of those. Okay, I I, I just had to verify. It. Actually, no, 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 no. Because I wanna I wanna keep the I'm gonna use that magic dress that I stole off the lady. Because I want to keep the gray cloaks. I don't have enough material to make if it, if one of them burns up. Isn't that chainmail? Oh yeah, that's fucking that's chainmail. Crap. Yeah, I'll use one of the 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 gray cloaks. You can then. use mine because I wasn't gonna wear it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Okay, I'm gonna yeah stand by the ready with that the that gray robbed cloak ready to like smother him. All right, Nim. Which eye is getting which crystal? Um, left eye, as I look at it, is going to get the orange crystal. Right eye, as I look at it, is going to get the blue. All right. Roll me. Slide of hand, please. All right. Don't, don't fuck up, please. Here we go. That's a 20. Oh. 16 plus 4. Ooh. Dirty 20. So you, yeah, you're doing the whole Hamlet, Macbeth, one of those, holding the skull. Hamlet. Ha- thank you. You'd think a theater major would know this shit. <laughs> to be um, or not to be. A bomb. And you're just looking at it, shoving the crystals in the eyes, and it is fine. You manage, as, as you push the crystal into the eye sockets, you can kind of feel it hit the gris- the griffin grease and kind of make a nice seal around it. So they're lodged in there. They're, it's, it's, it's good. It seems solid. This is very bad. It was such a bad idea. It looks a little metal. Who's going to carry this? Do you want me to carry it? Because I figure when they come down, I'm probably going to disappear into stealth anyway. Because they don't know I'm here yet, right? Correct. Yeah. So you can hide, and I'll try to, just in case they do bring down anybody, I'll try to separate him from everybody else. Yeah. And... Um, and we'll do, and then you can throw it from the shadows. Ordok's foot, what's that doing? Oddly enough, from where you left it before, it is on the other side of your equipment. Have you got a piece of rope, Talmore? Yeah, dude, I got 50 feet hemp and rope. Can I just have like 10 feet of it and wrap it like a leash and have it like a dog? Yeah. Because I'm fairly sure that's moving now, so I'm thinking we should leash it up and... Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, I'll take about, you know, 10 feet or so uh, and wrap it around the ankle and, you know, tie it off kind of nicely. Not too snug, 
you know, we want it to breathe and um, then just kind of tie it off to, you know, a, a rock. Yeah, for now we should just tie um, it off, right? And we should come fetch it later. Yeah, just tie it off so we don't lose it. Who knows? We might have a, a new Ordok real soon for when one of us dies, we can just copy Ordok's character sheet and they could just both play Ordok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Can I try and talk right. to it? <laughs> sure. Like a foot. Whilst it's tied off and that, I'm gonna just sort of sit, just so it can't reach me, and I'm gonna sort of click my fingers at it and go, Audi, Audi, your god's a prick. If it has, if it has a high enough intelligence, the foot, I can probably talk to it. <laughs> If it's moving, it it has some. I, I'm gonna try it just because you know. At this right now, why not? It's not moving. It's um, twitching. That's okay. Yeah, we're gonna move on. Yeah, this is just weird. <laughs> let's let's, let's like, get in position. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna have words for you when I find out you're playing with my foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be. It's not awesome. if you find out. It's probably. It's gonna be yeah. awkward. <laughs> He's got it tied up on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> this is my pet Ordok. <laughs> my little Ordok, my sweet little Ordok. Um, <laughs> You're just a foot. <laughs> let's let's get into. I'm. Uh, we're gonna get in position. I okay. want you to stay in the shadows, but try to stay close and don't get caught in the door. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go wait by the door configuration that will open up into the hallway that goes into the main staircase. Is there somewhere I can get in the dark, John? Oh, yes. Yeah, there's enough uh, little nooks and crannies hidden in the dark. Um, the, the crystals seem to be casting about the same amount of light as they were before, but it, it just seemed a little a little off. The skull? Uh-huh. Obviously, I'm holding that, and it's got two crystals in it. Um, can I drape, like whatever's left of my traveler's clothes just over it so just to cover the crystal's eyes in the eye sockets. Yeah, you managed to douse the light quite a little bit coming from the skull itself. Okay. I don't like how that they're not as bright when they're in the skull. Is, is this that significant? Should, <laughs> should we? It's fine. Why not? I'm just going to wait at the bottom of the stairs. Do I feel anything weird on this skull? Disappointment. Sure. Other than your conscious? <laughs> <laughs> Roll me an arcana check. Nine. Nine. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, <laughs> you feel it's hard to tell now because the crystals give off quite a bit of a magical aura. So it's all seems like a big jumbled mess to your, yeah, pretty much a big giant magical mess in your head. Okay. You're going to create an explosive lich. That's what you're going to do. It's going to be a witch that explodes. Do I recognize the race from the skull? Is it elven at all? Because I would have probably be quite familiar with elven burials. Oh, yes. You know, it's uh, from what you can tell, just from the structure and the way it is, pure-blooded elven. Okay. Do you hate yourself now? No. Because you just destroyed some <laughs> elven artifact? Uh, you know, to be honest, I've sort of gone off elves and their burials, uh... <laughs> because it's convenient you know, they're bomb making material yeah <laughs> <laughs> might be that reason might be something else <laughs> I'm not telling you <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna wait down here is that the plan until they come down I think so alright as Jerry Ordok and Goshen are coming down the stairs with Amber Pryor and the two guards as you guys get down to the bottom floor, you can see that uh, over the night, apparently a lot of the traps either reset or got removed. You can kind of see then some rubble on the ground. And right underneath the staircase at the very center of this chamber, a good bit of stuff has been I don't know, moved away and... It looks like they were preparing throughout the night of things down here. Like for a whole lot of troop movement to come through? Is this stuff sh like pushed out to the sides, I mean? 
a little bit, yeah. Like they were expecting some. They were making room, more or less. Or maybe for something big to come through. <laughs> Possibly. Balls. We should have gone to the cobalt cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, things are still happening everywhere. <laughs> As you guys get down there, everybody's kind of set. You're going to see Pryor go towards the only entrance. He's going to stop for a second, turn back, and going to start looking at the very ornately decorated sarcophagus in the room. Amber, if you would be a dear. And you can just see this massive smile come across her face. She's going to heave this war hammer, grab it with both hands, and pretty much bring it down right on top of the sarcophagus. (laughs) And it is going to shatter. Don't worry, guys. We've done way worse to this (laughs) temple. (laughs) (laughs) You can see the moment the head of the hammer hits this, flames are just going to erupt things are going to start cracking and giving way under the weight of it. It's almost as if the, the back side of the hammer, a jet of flame popped out just to give it a little bit more oomph as it hit. Rocket hammer! <laughs> <laughs> it's a rocket I want that hammer! hammer. <sighs> and she's going to bring it back and the two guards are going to come around and just start moving the lid off of this thing. And there's nothing inside. I knew it. Go ahead, you three. Roll me a perception check. Uh, Ten. Nine. Nineteen. Oh, my God. Okay, at least one of you can see this. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, you're going to kind of see the look on Pryor's face will change ever so quickly from this smugness and fear is just going to come across his face for a, barely a second. Then he's going to turn and walk back towards what would be the next room if the door is lined up. I'm just going to um, perk up and say, how underwhelming. It's almost like you guys thought this through. <laughs> his, his voice is going to be a little louder than it has been in the past 12 hours that you've met this guy. Amber, place the hammer at the center. Open up the pathways. And you can see she's going to move to directly under the staircase. And a spot that has been kind of like cleared out. You're going to see there's this hexagonal opening. It's not very big. Maybe about two inches in diameter. And she's going to slide her war hammer into it. And she's just going to rotate it slightly. And you'll feel the room start to spin. Hmm. Oh, shit. Howdy, y'all. It's Jerry. I broke the fourth wall to tell you something very important. Being a smart, super cool wizard like me, it's really hard. But having high quality, good looking dice isn't. Just head on over to easyrollerdice.com and choose from a wide selection of mind blowing dice. Add them to your cart and enter DDP15 upon checkout. Not only will you have a set of dice even Ma could be proud of, you'll save 15% on your order. And right now, you can win yourself a pair of dice. Just go over to the Do or Dice Twitter or Facebook page, like and share the post, and you'll be entered to win. If you're one of the first 50 people, you'll be entered twice. So, the rooms have just began to shift. You can kind of see as she moves her hammer, things aren't moving like they used to, like they were the day before. It's almost like the rings are spinning out of sequence. It's almost like she's setting up the pathways. How does Goshen feel? If, if we're like standing in um, a part that is currently rotating, then I'm probably leaning on my staff a little bit green in the <laughs> face. So you, you made it grow a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. As it grows, and like you're going to see both the guards are going to pull their swords out a little bit out of their sheaths. Uh... <laughs> Pryor is going to raise his hand a little bit like, no, no. He kind of sees that you're a little bit woozy. 
Thank you. <laughs> As they go to put their swords back in the scabbards, you can kind of see that when they push them back in, a little bit of liquid comes up the top of the scabbard. So it's as though the the scabbards are full of some kind of liquid that the swords are just setting in. The sight of the liquid makes me more nauseous. (laughs) I dry heave a little bit. (laughs) What color is it? It's clear. Like griffin grease clear? (laughs) Possibly. (laughs) Oh, that's how those bitches do it. So... Nim and Talmor, where are you guys exactly? It's a good question. Where are we, Talmor? <laughs> we are in the hallway, in the room with the hallway leading to where the staircase is. So Okay. Yeah. So you'll notice as the doors line up, you'll see a pretty obvious red splotch on these two circular sections that kind of just comes <laughs> together. Uh, and complete the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> harsh, John. That's harsh. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, this is the right one. <laughs> so, Tom, are you kind of like standing in what would be the opening? Um, yeah. So, you're going to come face to face as these two sections finalize out. Oh, you were down here all night, weren't you? You know it. Forgot he's playing like cool tough guy with him. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there was uh he's kinda gonna look around at the hard stone everywhere. Someplace soft to rest. There wasn't. I, I didn't even <laughs> sleep though. I don't need sleep. Roll me the sub <laughs> Uh seven. He's just kinda looking at you like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I suppose one of your comrades should inform you of Penny and her recent illness? What do you do to her, motherfucker? <laughs> Perhaps one of them can explain it better. Where is she? I'll just hold up my hand and be like, easy, Talmor. She's. I'm she's- going to start moving, like, step aside, like, to, like, get around him. But... As, like as I step behind him, I'm gonna push him back, just like with all my force to separate him from the group. <laughs> and I'm just gonna just start charging backwards with myself to kind of like, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna make it seem like I'm getting around him hurriedly to like talk to the group or if she's back there. But I'm gonna throw him off by then just like juking backwards and just you know trying to push him back with all my strength. So. His robes are a little long. He kind of moves to the side as you walk by him, expecting you to, you know, in your excitement and your worry. The push he wasn't seeing, didn't see that one coming. And the immediately got off balance quite a bit because you you shoved him pretty damn hard. He tried to catch himself with his feet, but his foot just hit the hem of his robe. And he's going to fall and kind of just go through the doorway. And it was enough force that it was going to be like a a moving slide almost. And he's going to wind up in the other corridor. Bomb him. Nim, (laughs) now. I'm going to use silent speech. I'm going to speak in Elvish. And I'm going to say to the skull in my hands, look, I know we've been a bit harsh down here. But we really had to do it. I've ingested a crystal key, right? We've all had to take one. Ordox lost a leg. <laughs> We've all taken one for the team. Talmor set himself on fire. I know I've been a bit harsh, but I'll write a book about you. I really need this to work. And I'm going to whip off my clothes and I'm going to hurl the skull <laughs> at the ground at the base of his face. Is he prone forwards or backwards? Um, On his side. So I'm going to throw it so that it... Aim for the ground right underneath his face. There's definitely something magical about that skull. It felt weird, so I talked to it first. <laughs> You're going to hear a voice in your head in response. Oh, no. As it's leaving your fingertips. It sounds almost like a song. 
it is so beautiful. Protect my child. And it is going to hit the ground. And an inferno is basically going to form right in front of him. Massive blinding explosion as these two crystals hit each other. Hit the griffin grease. Hit the drake blood inside. The walls of the caverns are going to start shaking. It's going to feel almost as though you're being thrown to the side. Because whatever is supporting these rotating rings are going to give way in sections. Oh no. Explosion is going to throw you backwards. Probably a good 20 feet. Just from the aftershock of it. This wave of force over you. And you're going to slam into another wall. Those of you in the central chamber aren't exposed as much to this because the the doorways between them are small but you're going to feel your chamber kind of tilt back almost at an angle as though it's the force of it is just shoving it in one direction off its off its center blinding light everyone you can just hear screams yelling no one quite knows what's going on you see lights in front of your head, just a ringing in your ears. It's painful. Ordok, Goshen, Talmor, and Jerry. Roll me dexterity checks, please. Saving throws. Nim, you as well. That's a 13. I rolled 23. Oh, shit. <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> I mean, I do have a peg leg. I was going to say, it's kind of fitting that you roll a three. <laughs> Got a 10. 15. All right. Nim, you are taking... Oh, shit. 12 points of bludgeoning damage. And that was with a success. <laughs> yeah, I was so thinking that. <laughs> Would danger sense apply in this scenario? Uh, you have an advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects. Yes. So, okay. Yep. Hey, oh, wow. natural 20. <laughs> hey. You do this in such a way, you know what's about to happen. So you dive in. You grab Ordok and take him to the ground. Yeah. Because you see Goshen and Jerry just move. And so you see Ordok is like, what the hell, a little bit. And you just grab him and you just kind of... Do a barrel roll with him. Put yourself between him and the blast. I got you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing a foot, if you didn't notice. <laughs> I know. I'm growing another one of you. We'll talk about it later. Don't worry yes. about it. Yes, we will. <laughs> Jeez. So the fire and the lights are going to start going down. The smoke is going to settle. You're just feeling a rocking back and forth. This isn't stable. You can just feel creaking. You can just hear timber snapping. Uh, the sound of rope seems to be fraying in spaces. Um, it's all over the place don't quite know how this place was built but however it was built is now damaged it's not great you guys have a very limited amount of time what do you want to do since i rolled an, uh, a 20 am, do i have a little bit more footing than everybody else that didn't know yes. it was coming okay so i am going to go after amber uh um as quick as I can. Okay. After I get up from Ordok, do I see that her hammer is like, where did her hammer land? Her hammer is still straight up in the center of this room underneath the staircase. Can I go after that? Yeah. She is not holding it any longer. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm going to go after that hammer. The moment you grab this hammer, which hand did you grab it with? My 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 sword hand, my, my, okay. my regular hand. You're going to feel a burning sensation. 
that you should probably see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I got the clap. <laughs> but you're going to rip this thing out of the ground and things are going to start to rotate a little more. It's not just tilting anymore. Thing Now that you've removed kind of the key to the system, things are going to start spinning as they would normally. Just so happens, the first thing it does after a reset is things start to spin. <laughs> Goshen, you have a very limited amount of time. Is there anyone standing that's not us? No, actually, you guys are still all, except for Nim and Talmor were the only ones that knew what was happening. Right. So they kind of have a little bit more time than you guys. You all, Everyone else is still prone on the ground. Oh. I get up. And are the guards near me still conscious? Everyone is on the ground. You can just see that there. some of them are gripping their ears. Some of them are just clawing at their eyes. One of them you can see has little streaks of blue in his face from where shrapnel of the crystal <laughs> is just embedded. Mm. That guy's going to have a rough time. Throw an orange crystal at him. Blow his face up. <laughs> <laughs> we have... Very limited orange crystals. We don't so Talmor has the hammer right now, right? Yes, Talmor has the hammer. Uh, is anyone from my party around me still like somewhere close that I can help them up so we can get out of here faster? Yes, you have Jerry nearby you. Ordok is still somewhat near Talmor. Okay. I'll go for Jerry then, I guess. Come on, we need to leave. I'll start helping him to his feet. Uh, oh, okay, did did we kill him? Is <laughs> Where's Elon? <laughs> we gotta stop him. I, I don't know. Why is the room spinning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rooms are now uh... back towards. And the thing is, normally it would spin a little bit and stop. The rooms aren't stopping. Oh, in that case, I guess what I say is, "Come on, we need to, uh, need to leave." <laughs> or Doc. I realize we have very limited time, but uh, I don't think I care. Um, <laughs> vengeance <laughs> I so like Amber straight up out conscious yep yeah I'm gonna kill this bitch um, <laughs> yeah that's my boy I'm just gonna like take my warhammer and walk uh -huh. over and um, like overhand swing and just come down as hard as I can on her head yeah <laughs> it's like a Gallagher show <laughs> <laughs> Your hammer's going to come down, and then you're just not going to see her head <laughs> as the face of the hammer. It's just a mess. You just hear the hammer hit the stone floor, and just a twitch as her body moves. There's no sound other than the crunching of her skull, pretty much. I'm just going to bend down and growl, pray to your god now. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's only dark over here, Mr. Paladin. God, I love it. <laughs> uh, can can Nim get out, like back to us? Because he's still in the other room, right? The Griffin grease has lit the area around Elon on fire. It might be slightly difficult for you to get across it. Is Elon still alive? Can I see him? You cannot see him through the flames. Is there flames dividing us? A little bit, yeah. Uh, they're about two to three feet tall. It's kind of all around him and a good majority of the path to the opening. I want to put my rapier for Elon's head. We need to finish the job. We need to make sure that this guy's done. Otherwise, we've achieved nothing. You're going to hear three ropes snap in quick succession. I'm going to look towards the party, and then I'm going to look towards Elon. I'm going for his face with the rapier. I'm putting my rapier for his head. As you draw your rapier and go for his head, that center, that, that second ring that you're in is going to give way and drop. You're going to see the outer ring. Everyone on the inside is going to see the outer ring start to spin faster and faster. We, we, we got to go. Come on. I'm going to start ushering people up the stairs to get out of. I need to Tower. save Nim. It it dropped like like can't access it at all anymore. It, if if you get to the edge of your circle, you'll see it in a pile of rubble. But the way the rings are designed, 
is that they look as though they're pretty much hollowed out rings. Once it hits the ground, it's going to, the walls are shot. It's going to start giving way. There's a strong, strong chance that the roof of that section gave way and crushed everything inside of it. Uh, I'm going to link my arm around Talmor as best as I can and just start hauling him back towards the stairs. No! (laughs) We gotta go. We've got to go. We'll we'll come back. Fall to my knees. We've got to go. (laughs) Elon! I'm just gonna keep pulling back as hard as I can. Um... I'm going to I'm going to go so I'm going to go into rage and um what I'm going to do I'm going to take this hammer and I'm going to crush everybody just as I'm moving just swinging with one hand wildly crush everybody that's not our party and then hook Amber's body with it and carry it carry her body out of here as well as kind of grab everybody else and start running up the stairs Okay, I I just I I need to get everybody out of here. On our way out of the tower, I make sure that we have Ezzy as well. We need to honor Nim. Ezzy needs to not live so She does. She's our link to Nim. Yeah, babe. For the record, this is a uh, this is twenty minutes of stairs. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I might still all die. Good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Basically, I just want to grab her body and everybody else and. Since I'm enraged, my movement speed's a little bit better and I'm stronger, so I can just kind mm-hmm. of carry everybody, namely Ordok. I was going to uh, say, I'm as fast as you are, so I can run. Yeah, up the stairs, grab the body, Ordok, and then throw Jerry over my shoulder and <laughs> head out, just crying, <laughs> ugly crying and sobbing the whole oh, way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll run in front of them then if we encounter anyone on the stairs I'll extend my staff and trip their asses <laughs> <laughs> as you guys run up the staircase you just feel tremor after tremor more ropes are gonna you're just gonna hear the echoing of ropes snapping stone on stone noises you never heard before it sounds like a nightmare down there. And all of a sudden, you'll feel a shift on the staircase. You look down, and you just see there is no more floor beneath you. Cracks are starting to form in the runic designs on the inside of the tower. As you guys make it up, Ezzy is not inside the tower any longer. Oh, no. Oh, no. The door that was blocked, remember the second the second floor of the upper side of the tower? That door has given way. It is now on the ground. Oh. Oh, I want to run up the tower. From my recollection of this tower, were there windows at the top of it? No. <laughs> if the tower stands, we'll come back for it, but we, we need to get out. Yeah, you're right. Nim would have wanted to go, though. I know him. (laughs) (laughs) As you guys make it out of the spot, you can see everyone is running. Whatever was holding the drakes down has been busted loose. Four of them are just roaming, catching tents on fire here and there. It's a madhouse. Start making our way towards the, or I guess not really making our way, but charging. Mm -hmm. Um, towards the, well, I wouldn't know, so I, <laughs> I don't know where this tent is. I've never been up here. That's okay. I'm in front anyway, so okay, I'll run yeah, toward the tent. Go. As you get there, you will just see that crevices are starting to open up in the ground. A mixture of steam and smoke is just going to start shooting out, like, a, um, uh, like at a hot springs resort. Cozy. There's a wide crevice. (laughs) Yeah, a few more explosions. Not very relaxing. There are a few cracks heading towards the tent where Penny and Timothy are. But as you get there, the cage is blown open from the front. No one is inside. 
They're not here. They're not here. Tamor, go. Where are they? Timothy's got her. It's fine. Keep going. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> where am I running to? Where am I going? Away. Yeah, away from the spire. Make for the trees. But, but Nim. <laughs> we'll come back, buddy. We got to get out for now. All right. As you guys make it to the tree line, probably furthest away from all the commotion, you'll see bursts of flame just going up in the air. Can't tell if it's from the tower, from the drakes, whether they had some supply of griffin grease or drake blood. The gods only know. But you start to hear this wrenching sound as the spire at the center of the town falls in upon itself. I'm going to plop down Amber's body. Minus the head, yes. Well, yeah, what's left of it. Is there anything, like, indicative on her body that would say, you know, of uh, troop orders or their plans in general, or if this was, like, the only fire cult? Like, is there anything that she would carry on her in, like, her bag that would say, you know, anything important? Basically. She she had nothing of import on her. The only thing that might be of interest is a small cylindrical golden tube. Can I open it? You cannot seem to find a crease to where it could be open, and it, it just isn't budging. Mm. Hand that to Jerry. <laughs> Here you go, my dude. <laughs> oh, all right you're gonna see kind of like moving underneath amber because you kind of just well, popped her down on her back yeah you're gonna see this something wiggling underneath of her throw it to the side is it is little lord doc <laughs> it is a foot greenish does it still have the crystals in it? It still has the crystals in it. Do, what? do I see that? What the you hell is that? that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm going to cradle it a little bit. Like, it's okay. I got you now. Um, Talmor, Tal what is that? This is all that I have left of Nim. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. That's Ordok's foot. <laughs> what unholy thing have you done? Uh, no, this is this is me and Nim's... I was going to say child, but that'd be really weird. Is it moving? Yeah, it's alive. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shove Talmor back and try to like pull my foot out of his <laughs> arms. I'm, I'm just going to hold it like straight up. <laughs> no, this is this is a little Nim. This is Nim Jr., and you're not going to take him. That is not oh. Nim. That is my foot. Well, it's not on you, so it's not yours. <laughs> Finders keep. Listen, guys, quit fighting over the foot. I th think we got bigger things to deal with. By Thom's wrath, give that to me. <laughs> Fuck you and your Thom. Really, guys, I don't think the foot's. I just lost my best friend. They they're not listening to us. It's they're not listening to us at no. all. I don't. <laughs> They're both in rage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Stay the fuck back or I'm going to take your other one. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull my, my little hammer out. I'm going to my, my pull, ball peen. <laughs> hold up the big one. Mine's bigger. That's mine as well. You can't even use it. Get out of here. Get out of here. How about you go over there and calm down. Go sit in the sun or something. You have my foot. It's not yours. It was detached. That makes it public property. It's like putting garbage on the curb. Just call this foot garbage. Plus, we picked it up. We took care of it. You didn't. Where were you? We raised this foot. You were nowhere to be found. We raised this foot. Stay away from me and my son. I don't. I don't. I really don't know how to interject into this. I don't know either. This is Unholy so weird. Holy creation have you made? It doesn't matter. My family is none of your concern. <laughs> it's not your family. It's my foot. This is me and Nim's son. Leave us alone. I'm going to toss it up in a tree. Stay. <laughs> Stay there. You can't climb. Now, Talmor. Talmor, I know you're upset. 
I'm we fine. all we're all upset. <laughs> I, I am upset. <laughs> he was my best friend. Nim just let him die. Fell into that hole. You fell into a hole. <laughs> and I'd like <laughs> I go up down more. Uh, I'm just gonna break down. Just just cry. For... Are you gonna drop the hammer? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Can I, okay. can I Man, that's like a vulture. Uh, <laughs> drop everything and just kinda put all my weight on the jacket. <laughs> like physically, can I actually pick that up? There there. It's it's okay, Delmore. <laughs> Give me a strength check. Come on. Mm. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> seven. <laughs> It takes a lot of effort for you to even lift this hammer. You don't quite know how Amber was even managed, how she was able to hold this thing with one hand. But after a little bit of time, you kind of get both hands around it. Your skin, you're going to smell a little bit of burning flesh. But you are able to lift the hammer. Is, um, are there like runes or anything carved on it? I'm going to give like the hammer a once over, see what it looks like. It is covered in dwarvish runes. I can read those. You can? <laughs> I can. <laughs> Go on, pretty much on the side of the hammer, it just says Iron Flame. And then appears down the entire shaft, just rune after rune. of it. You can just see fire written over and over in dwarvish runes. It kind of tells a story of itself, almost. As you got a closer look at it you can say that the hammer head and the shaft are not the same piece it's a kind of a different material the head itself looks a little rough a little crude in some places on the back end of it is more runes from the giant's forge on the hammerhead or on the shaft on the uh, back of the hammerhead. Okay. Otherwise, it is wrapped in uh, kind of like a just gold bands. It is a gorgeous piece of work. It's giving off quite a bit of heat. And if you kind of stand it up straight, it is about a little shorter than you are. <laughs> can I can I do what like Amber was doing and just sort of stand it upright, stick it into the ground? It will, yeah. It take it pretty much lets itself sink a little bit. You're, yeah. It will, it will kind of keep itself up. Does it look like something that I could uh, disassemble? Like take the head from the hilt. That might take a little longer than a cursory glance to figure out. Okay. I'd say maybe like over, like a, a next rest, you could take some time before sleep and possibly figure something like that out. I'm just gonna leave it sitting in the ground. Um. Can I actually get my foot? Is the rope hanging down? <laughs> the rope is on the ground. The foot is not in the tree. What? <laughs> my foot ran away. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> you lost him. If this was your first time listening, then thanks for coming. New episodes are released weekly, and all of our show notes, character sheets, and player bios are available at doerdicepodcast.com. If you get a chance, please subscribe to Doer Dice in your podcast player of choice. And if you have time, leave us a review, as it helps others find the show. You can stay up to date by following us on Twitter or Facebook at Do or Dice Podcast, or join the conversation on Discord. Thank you for your support, and check us out next week. Same dice time, same dice channel. Thank you.